It was morning on the farm, and Pigsley the pig woke up to a warm, sunny day. His very best friend, Rear the dog, stuck his head around the barn door. Hello, Pigsley, he woofed. It is time to wake up. Come on, up, up, up. Where are we adventuring today? Now, before we continue with this story, you need to know a very special secret. This is a secret most grown-ups don't even know. Animals talk to each other. Yes, they really do. And that is why Pigsley understood what Rio was saying, even though Pigsley was a pig and Rio was a dog. Uh, morning, Rio, yawned the sleepy pig. Hmm, let me think. How about the orchard? The apples are falling from the trees, so there will be lots of delicious fruit to eat, and plums and figs too. Yum, yum! <gasps> yes, 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 yapped Rio, jumping up and down. Come on, Pigsley, let's go! You may have guessed by now that Rio was a very excitable dog, always bouncing about here, there and everywhere. He thought he was still a puppy. So off the friends walked, past the big tree and into the orchard past the cottage, where the people lived, past the hedge, across the garden where the apple trees grew. Rio ran to an apple tree, lay down under it and started munching on the fruit that had dropped beneath it. And Pigsley snuffled about with his nose in the ground taking bites of apples that had fallen. As you may know, a pig's nose is called a snout, and a very strong snout it is. Pigs spend a lot of time digging in the ground with their snouts, sniffing out roots and grubs to eat. And this is just what Pigsley did, making furrows all over the orchard. Hey, you two, what are you doing down there? shouted someone. Pigsley and Rio looked about, trying to find the owner of the voice. They looked under a plum tree and behind a fig tree, but they did not see anyone nor anything. I'm up here! Both friends lifted their heads and discovered a creature staring down at them from the branch of an apple tree. Who are you? snorted Pigsley. And what are you? growled Rio. They had never seen an animal like that before, all furry with a long tail. My name's Sam and I'm a Samango monkey. What are you doing up in that tree? asked Pigsley. I was searching for food and saw these delicious apples, so I have stopped to eat my breakfast, replied Sam, as he plucked an apple and took a bite. Monkeys spend a lot of time in trees. We move about by climbing and jumping from branch to branch, and we can see very far from up here. Well, my name's Pigsley and this is my friend Rio. We live on this farm and today we are exploring the orchard and eating apples just like you. Do you want to come down and play with us? Sam thought for a while. He ate another apple and then replied. Not today, thanks. I'm meeting my friends on the next farm for a tree party. Pigsley and Rio were confused. They knew what a tea party was because they had seen the people in the cottage having one. But what was a tree party? Scratching his head, Rio asked, What is a tree party? We all bring food to share and have a party in the trees, explained the monkey. We play games, do tricks on branches and have a fun time together. With that, Sam grabbed a few more apples and jumped away through the trees. Goodbye, he howled. I will come back and play with you soon and bring my friends along too. Pigsley and Rio watched in amazement. This was the first time they had met a monkey and the very first time they had seen one jumping through the trees. Wow! exclaimed Rio. That sounds like fun. Should we join Sam and his friends for the tree party? The pig nodded in agreement. Pigsley and Rio decided to climb the apple tree. But no matter how hard they tried, they just could not get up it. Eventually they realised that maybe climbing trees was something monkeys did, and that pigs and dogs weren't meant to. So the friends spent the rest of the day playing in the orchard. Rio dug a big hole. He was trying to catch moles and Pigsley rolled about in it and got very dirty. They both ate a lot more apples, plums and figs until their tummies were full. As the sun sank behind the hill, they heard the farmer call, Pigsley! Rio! The pig and dog walked back home to their dinner and their beds. Looking up at the trees, they wondered where Sam was eating his dinner tonight. <laughs>